Hi, this is Brian Marquis of Design Marquis. I'm excited to show you this bedroom redo because it brings together all three design services that I offer. Interior design, furniture transformation, and decorative and fine art objects. I managed and executed every element of this project in a fully integrated way. And I want to point out that every piece of furniture was secondhand, bought used at yard sales, thrift stores, Facebook Marketplace, and I personally refinished some of the major pieces and I'll point that out. All of the artwork was done by me personally. Uh, and uh, the only things that were brand new were the mattress, the bedding, uh, the draperies, and the lamps. So uh, welcome and hope you enjoy the video. Please be in touch if you have a space that you'd like to transform and you wanna talk about how I can help you. Thanks. Starting with the most important furniture, this is a Lane early 70s oak bedroom set. I was able to get this dresser, a mirror, king headboard, and nightstand for $80 at a yard sale. I took this down to the bare wood before applying an ebony stain to give it a more sophisticated look. You can see the video of this transformation on my YouTube channel at Design Marquee. I'll note that I use my carpentry scales to reduce this king headboard down to queen size to fit the scale of the room. I really love the color and how these transformed pieces provide a sharp contrast to the soft tones of the space. This is a favorite wall installation inspired by a similar arrangement in my hotel room in Cordoba, Spain. This is one of many references to my 2023 Iberia vacation that you'll see in this room. These are just lamp globes, mostly old, perched on a variety of cabinet doorknobs. The shadows create drama and the randomness of the placement is a much needed fun element in an otherwise formal room. This bentwood chair has a Made in Yugoslavia label underneath, which suggests mid-century origins. I bought it about 10 years ago at a Minneapolis thrift store when it had red vinyl upholstery. I had this redone at the time, not knowing how well the gray would work down the road. I took these two landscape photographs while traveling by train in Spain. The warm tones of the grass fields and hills along with the cool blue-gray of the skies fits the room decor beautifully. And finally, I picked up this mid-century nightstand on Marketplace and only had to clean it and rub on some Restore finish to bring it back to life. Turning to the main wall, this is one of my favorite art pieces. I took dozens of close-up photographs of tile walls in Spain and Portugal, most of them in palaces five to 600 years old. I enlarged the photos and arranged them in stacks four deep using 12 different designs overall. The printouts were decoupaged on various sized pieces of medium density fiberboard before being sealed and assembled. While I was concerned about pattern clashes, I have to admit that all the colors, shapes, and layering create a pleasing abstract quality overall. And I like how they are positioned close to bedding and drapes that also present the kind of small patterns reminiscent of Iberian design and decor. This bistro table transformation was another project inspired by my travels, and you can also see the specific video on my YouTube channel. I started by refinishing an old, beat-up Victorian era iron table I got on Marketplace. Then I turned my attention to the top, where I chose a favorite Spanish tile image, enlarged and printed it on large format paper, decoupaged it to a circular piece of medium density fiberboard, then protected it with seven coats of polyurethane. I was delighted to also find these two comfortable chairs on Marketplace. They were only about a year old and from West Elm, so this was a great find and they fit the space well. Finally, this work alcove encompassed a number of distinct elements after the dated space was gutted. First, I swapped out the original 70s light pendants for a more contemporary style. Then I created the countertop using leftover bamboo flooring that was installed in other parts of the house. Next, I enlarged and framed photographs I took of nature close-ups, which have a wonderful abstract quality when presented this way. I finished off the space, which is now an important feature in this rental room, with a wicker swivel stool I got from Marketplace that fits the Iberia theme perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the tour. While this room was really a story about me and my travels, I can work with you to create a space that's all about your story and that showcases all the things that are meaningful to you, including what might be old furniture, it might be artwork that's sitting in your attic, any number of solutions uh, to uh, create the space that tells your story and makes you feel good to be in the room. So don't hesitate to reach out. And again, thanks for watching.